and how are we doing out there cupcakes welcome back to twisted koi and you cactoily i see you and i see you because cactoily have sent me their seven in one water quality tester to test and trial out and test and trial i will so let's get into it but before we get into it you will find it in the link in the link in the description there will be a link which will give you straight to Cactoily which will give you a 15% discount failing that you put twisted koi in the discount code and they will sort you out a big, big thank you to uh, Lulu and the team at Cactoy Lead for actually approaching me and asking me to uh, test and trial and review the Cactoy Lead. Water quality testing has never been easier. So let's fire into it. I've got a pair of scissors here because I haven't even opened this myself. I thought we would do it together on camera. I am a little gutted because when it arrived, I thought it was covered in uh, packaging. Turns out it comes in this beautiful fleecy bag that I, yeah, we won't go into that one. But the product itself is in absolutely perfect condition. So we'll take the slide off. And give me a second and we'll turn you around so you can get a better view of what we're doing. There we go, we'll open it all up onto the onto the easy pod. So the sleeve. The first thing we get is the instructions. The Cactory Lee 71 Aquarium Wireless User Manual. And it, it measures pH, temperature, total dissolved solids, electric conductivity, salinity, specific gravity, don't know what that one is, and ORP. Now I'm running this on this system because I am running an ozone generator, so the ORP, ORP will be absolutely perfect. <coughs> couple of people out there that are already running cat toilets might get a phone call or a few messages because uh, yeah a lot of that has just gone straight over my head but well, anyway the destruction booklet we get universal plug we get another universal plug That be that must be your your probe and your sensor. Ooh. And that must be for mounting the control box in. It has a USB C on the bottom. card telling you uh, where your water level needs to be, maximum water level to keep underwater, recommended level, and because I know I've got a bit of a leak in here, and 
I know it's in that max and mid range, so I'll put this at the waterline at the maximum level. And then we've got water quality guidebook, recommended readings, temperature measurement, frequently asked questions, tips for pH. So it's another thing for me to sit and have a read through. And then in this box, what do we get? We've got some really strong magnets there, two of. Some suckers, I presume that is to go yeah, on the back of there. They must be for the magnets. Now this must be the lead to connect into there. Some plastic screws. I presume are for They are threaded, so hmm. uh, now I see. So, does that mean you need one plug? Because one is wireless. I am going to have to look through the guidebook, but I presume these go in there because there's two of these. of those and then in here we have pH 9.18 at 25 degrees pH 6.86 at 25 degrees two of those we've got two of the 9.1 and the pH 4.0 at 25 degrees. So I don't know what they're for until I uh, read through the destructions. Uh, so uh, this one talks to this one. Hence no cable in between. And that must be your power supply for this probe here. So I should be able to set this up on that wall which will give me uh, the most chance of picking up the Wi-Fi in the house and then this will go on the outside outside wall but inside the water if that makes sense on this side. Alright, there is two methods to uh, fix the probe which is this one you've got the suckers or you've got this bracket so I might end up screwing that bracket into that wall like I'm going to have to sit and read through these because to read through these and absorb it um, on camera is going to take me a bit of time so what I will do 
is I will stop you there and when I get a bit more of an understanding of what I need to do then we will uh, we will pick this back up because uh, yeah there's a, a lot that needs doing here and I think it's to do with calibrating the probe with these solutions so let me stop you there and uh, once I've had a read I will come back to you It just goes to show that you need to read instructions. Wrong book, Cliff Vincent. Because when you go through, we'll go for the overview quick and we'll, we'll, we'll wrap this one up and then we'll pick it back up when we get to installation. The Cat Toilet 7 in 1 Aquarium Wireless Monitor allows you to place the display anywhere you want to view the measurement. The plug is powered by a 5 volt, 1 amp, and USB. Type C it can be used in freshwater, seawater aquariums, covered or uncovered. It is not affected by the thickness of the aquarium rules. For easily installation, it is re recommended to keep the distance between the probe less than a, less than 10 meters for outdoor use and less than three meters for indoor use. And then we come through. And it tells you about fixing the probe, which we've already covered. And then when you get to here, it actually says... No, the product has been calibra calibrated before delivery and can be used directly upon receipt. It is recommended to calibrate it once every six months. So really, I don't need to go any further on that stage of the destructions. And I can actually put these put these away. So it is literally plug and play. What more could you ask for, right? Let's go quick go over the descriptions of the parameters that it covers. Covers temperature. What temperature that are too high can easily deplete dissolved oxygen in the water and cause fish breathing problems. It is easy to cause fish disease with temperature is too low as it will affect digestion and immune system functions. That's number one. Then we've got number two, which is pH. The pH is an index of the concentration of hydrogen ions, H+, in the water, which indicates the acidity or the alkalinity of the water. Acidic water has a lower pH, and alkaline water has a higher pH. Neutral water has a pH of 7. Number, th number 3. Salinity. In saltwater tanks, salinity is the ratio of salt water in a uh, ratio of salt in salt water, which is usually expressed as salinity and can be expressed as specific gravity. Number four. EC electrical conductivity. The conductivity of a fish tank of fish tank water is dessert determined by the concentration and or content of conductive substances. This indicates beta measures the ionized substance concentrating more. Depending on the unit, it's Siemens slash meter SM or milli Siemens slash CM MS slash CM pass. Put one there. Number five. Specific gravity. The specific gravity of a fish tank water is the ratio of its density to that of pure water. It is commonly used to measure salinity or dissolved substances concentration in fish tanks. Number six. TDS, total dissolved solids. TDS refers to the total dissolved solids in the fish tank usually expressed in ppm parts per million or mg stroke l milligrams per litre in an aquarium or other body of water. It measures dissolved minerals, organic and inorganic compounds including 
dissolved materials. Number seven, ORP, oxidation reduction potential. ORP means the oxidation reduction potential in the aquarium, also known as the redox poten potential. It is an indicator to measure the properties of water which can be used to reflect the oxygen content and purity of water. And then we have a little diagram here of recommended readings. So temperature for tropical fish would be 24 to 30. Cold water fish is, says here 10 to 20, but we know it's different with ponds. pH conventional range is 6.5 to 8.5. Most fresh water is 6.5 to 7.5. Tropical fish is 6.5 to 8. Saltwater fish is 8 to 8.4. Now you're on your salinity, your freshwater tank with salt should be a 0.3%. Saltwater tank should be a 3.3% to 3.5%. That's high. Then on your EC, conventional freshwater tank without salt should be 100 to 2000 US slash CM. Conventional fish tank with salt should be a, a squiggly line with a line underneath 600 US slash CM, whatever that is, don't ask me. And salt water tank, not, not included. TDS, conventional fresh water without salt, so TDS will be between 150 to 500 ppm. Fresh water tank without salt. Uh, 50 to 800 ppm and salt water fresh water tank with salt is a little squiggly nine with a line underneath 3000 ppm and then there we go on to SG fresh water body 1000 well 1 1.000 and on a, a salt water tank 1.022 to 1.0 and then ORP tap water is 10 to 400 millivolts a conventional planted tank 250 to 350 millivolts conventional freshwater body 200 to 400 millivolts so that's the one we're interested in or the one I'm interested in and in a conventional salt water tank should be between 300 and 400 millivolts so there we have a basic rundown of everything and the next bit we will do is when it comes to uh, me doing the installation and I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up an, a separate plug socket that I've got over there that has USB ports on it so that I can uh, eliminate these. Not that these aren't usable, it's just you know what my OCD is like. So anyway. We will come back to you guys when we do the installation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, and now we can get on with fitting the cat toy. And the reason why it's taken a day to, uh, to get to this point is because I needed to move a socket. And I also wanted to put in a specific socket, which is two USBs. So. The plan was to get rid of both of these that come with the cat toy kit. We've already uh, assessed that I, uh, I don't need the suckers because I'm going to screw the thing to the, the, the wood inside the tank. That's this bit. And I have already tried a fitment on this and it has got a snug grip. So that will be perfect because I should be able to flip that round that way and then still be able to maintain maintain the, the level that it needs to be. You see what I mean? So that's that bit. That is literally two screws. So I've got two screws sat here and then you've got the, the actual unit itself. Well, it comes with two magnets well what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to put both magnets 
on here because I want to mount it on the wall up there next to the socket just so I can keep all the, the cables on that tidy because this cable is USB-C on the end but it's USB on that end so that end that's hence why I put to, uh, a double plug in with two USBs but you don't need to do that because they do supply you with two plugs that can convert down to USB so yeah that's just that's just me being a normal and keep everything neat and tidy and stuff but so far installation looks seriously simple so uh, let's stop flapping those gums things and uh, get on so the first job is to try and get I did get the sticky started on the back of this one I'm not very good with stickies pretty chunky magnets got the good sticky bits as well because they're a bugger to get off but that can only be a good thing ah, gotcha I'm gonna stick that one there and the bit that looks most level is that brick there and that brick there. Nope, it's not going to stick. Okay. Right, that changes that plan, doesn't it? Um, it won't stick to me brick. I connect it up for the minute. What I'll do is I'll actually, uh, I've got a little bit of metal plate and get that screwed to there, and then that will stick because it will it'll magnetize to the, to, the, to the metal. Yeah, I've got a flat bracket, I can, so that isn't a problem. So, what the destruction say? I'm going to spin you around. What the destruction say is you've got to undo. Do that one. Where's the bracket? I'm going to want to go that way. Just topping the tank up, but that's that fitted. I'm just topping the tank up to it so I can make sure that the max level is sat at the max level. But you 
just have to unscrew these off the end. I think that's to keep the probes uh, calibrated when it comes out of the shop. So yeah, that one. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. It's a delivery driver at the gate. So where was we? Yes, we've now got that up to the uh, maximum water level that this sits at. I've got that where I want it. This cable's going to go around that way anyway. And what we'll do is we will connect both bits at the same time. But that is as simple as can be. I'm just zip tie to me me airlines and then that's all too sweet so that's that bit done and we know what i'm going to do with that bit but what we will do we will sit that bit upside down there it always goes wrong doesn't it <laughs> Let's get the lid back on here and now we know that that's in there and in the, in the correct place. In one place, so if we go back here for it. What I'll do is I'll get this lead plugged into the bottom of this unit like so and for the minute we will put make sure it's facing the right way and that one in there that one in there oh we now have a readout and everything says zero at the moment Yeah, you use a manual out. What does it say? See, I knew this would happen. Me and technology, do I have to press this button? Right, I'm going to just press the button, Vincent. Surely that can connect from there to there. Oh. Oh, now things are happening. So what's that one? Help! Somebody help me! Oh my word! Right. How do I... I do apologise about this, folks. That will be placed up there. I mean, at the moment, it's telling me I've got 1.000 SG. But it's not telling me anything else. Hmm. 
Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ made me fucking shit myself. Stay there. Oh, my battery's about to die. Right, I'm gonna pause you here, guys. Oh, I must apologize, guys. I really must apologize. My battery died and I've had to uh, stick you to the window so I can use the socket above. But I, what I did was I unplugged the, uh, the connectors and I replugged them in and now I've got readings. So, Let's have a look at what we've got. I know for a fact that the uh, the ORP is at the moment fluctuating between 266 and 299. My pH is sitting at 7.87. I don't know what that bottom one is. Right, hang on. We've got it, yeah. Right, so. Ah. So, my salt level is 0.04%. My SG is 1.000. My ORP is now sitting, it's bouncing at the moment, between 248 and 350. So I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Then you've got the bottom one is EC. Then you've got the temperature, which is 16.1 uh, degrees. Now the ink bird is saying 16.3. So that's not too bad. And apparently I've got a TDS of 428 parts per million. Oh, wicked. I'm really pleased with that now. So, yeah, so all I've got to do now is just get a uh, a little plate right up there and we will be absolutely golden. So, yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Cactoily 7-in-1. I like it. Twisted Towers has now got technology. A big thank you, big, big thank you to Cactoily and the, and the marketing team uh, for uh, asking me to uh, re re review this product and we will keep you posted on a daily, no, we won't do it on a daily basis, you'll get But we will keep a, a, a progress on it and I've got the ideal uh, comparisons because I've got the Inkbird running at the moment and I've also got the, the new uh, Hyga running. That's got a temperature stat on it as well. And that is saying 16.2 and the probe that I've got going in is saying 16.3. So we've got <laughs> one, two, three, four out of the lot, but I really do like it. I really do like it. I wish that the sticky bits would have stuck to the wall. Maybe if I uh, put a bit of OV1 on there and do it that way. But I think I've got a screw there. I can just screw a metal plate in and it will uh, it'll sit perfectly there. So yeah. Now, not only can I start dialing in the ozone generator but I can keep an absolute eye on every parameter that I need really to know about so if you uh, if you like what you see there is a link in the description below if you click that link it will take you straight to a page where you will get 15% discount if you go onto the, the actual website differently, if you put, type in Twisted Koi in the discount code, you will also get 
15% discount. So either or, whether you click the link or you go to there and you put in there, in there, because you might not want the seven in one. You might not need to know about your RRP readings. So, you know, you, you could want the, uh, the six in one instead. But as always, folks, I've been Twisted Croy. You lot out there, you are always great. And we will see you soon. Da, 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 that's all, cupcakes.